and they gave us it for free saying welcome. We're song crossing a Pakistani road. It is crazy, we absolutely love it. Hi, I'm Rianne and this is my husband Bill. Pakistan! Hi guys, welcome back. We're on Tall Dredges, we're a full-time travel couple and this is our Pakistan series. We're currently at London Gatwick Airport and we're just about to board our flight to Karachi, Pakistan. We're so excited. It's a brand new country for us. We just quickly found somewhere to sit down so we can recap over our morning. So we left our hometown, Portsmouth, which is an island city. It's about one hour from London. We've got the train here. It's super cheap, 15 pounds. Comes straight into the actual terminal. It comes straight into the airport. Super easy, straight off. And now we're in the airport waiting for our flight. We always pay the extra money for Gatwick flights because we just find it's just the easiest way to get to the airport. That's the biggest cost for us, flying. Well, and the flight's obviously expensive, but yeah. it's getting to the airport. Getting to the airport. Because obviously where we live, our hometown, they don't have their own airport. London's the closest. One hour's not too bad, but Gatwick for us is the easiest. So we're just here. We've got about an hour, I think, until our flight. But we've got the longest travel day ever today. We started at 9.30, we got on the train. And then we're not going to arrive in to Pakistan, Karachi, until 6.30 a.m. So we've got a stop from this flight, we're going to stop in Doha for a few hours and then fly to Karachi. So it's going to be a very long day, hopefully it goes smooth. So far everything's gone really smooth and easy. Yeah. My mum dropped us to the train station this morning, had 10 minutes to spare. I oh know, we're getting good at this. Yeah, um, emotional goodbyes and stuff as always. But yeah, like, like we said, super easy but we're just totally like really excited to start this new series. So we have actually bought our trusty water bottles this time and we're filling them up. We bought it instead of paying like four pounds in the WHM Smith or whatever it's called <laughs> for water. So travel tip, bring your water bottles. Free water, yeah. Saves money. We're planning on not spending a penny at this airport because we've got food on the flight and free drink. Okay, we've got a gate up now. We're going to gate 36. It's actually not that far. We're just heading there. But at the moment in the UK, we've actually got like a heat wave. So it's super hot. Yeah, it's like, it's like abroad. oh, it's hotter than abroad, I swear. So we're ready for the heat. Bring it on. We've actually upgraded a lot of our stuff. Like we've got a new tripod, um, new hand thing, new GoPro. We've got the GoPro 11 now. We've just made a mistake. Like the handhold thing for the GoPro has no straps. So we can't put it on our arms. So we're a little bit worried because yeah, obviously we'll make shift find something but yeah. um also right the, the guy when we checked in he almost upgraded us he said do you want to do you want an upgrade it's like yeah and then Rihanna said how much I was like, no oh, i didn't yeah. i said if it's free oh if it's free yeah guess how much one thousand pounds i was like no thank you <laughs> i was like nah but we could have gone premium for 38 pounds which i thought weren't that bad but yeah. we'll see we're budget travelers and we ain't got that money to spend yeah which we didn't there it is, gate 36, it was literally five minutes. So we've got an hour to sit here, but I say that, they'll probably board us like an hour before the flight anyway. That was actually way easier than I expected. This day's going really smoothly. Oh, nice, it's going too well. <laughs> Who's my friend? What? Huh? What? I said, who's my friend? Oh. Yeah. Oh, next to me. Hmm. Is that your blind side? I always forget which one's your blind side. This guy, this one's my blind side. Our gate's open and we're now boarding our plane. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheers. So this is our first flight of the day. I think it's roughly about six and a half hours. We get food, drink, and it's a big plane. So these are the ones I enjoy. I'm still a bit, a bit anxious about flying, but I think I'm loads better, I think. Until I get my seat. I reckon the first flight is going to be food and stuff. Maybe a drink. Second flight, sleep it. Mm, definitely. 100%. Yeah. The boss got Thank you. Um, okay, we're going to go straight over into the right there. Thank okay. you. Right. That's the top. first class. <laughs> oh. Rub it in, hold on, eh?
premiere. Oh, one day maybe, hopefully. We've made it, we made it to Doha, so that's our first flight done. I'd say, best flight. We've arrived, we're in Doha, so that's one flight down. That is probably one of the best flights I've had in a very, very long time. To be honest, this is the first time I've done a long haul with British Airways. And being British, I was expecting, honestly, expecting it not to be that good. It was amazing. Yeah, amazing. Best flight I've ever had. Clean, spacious, like everything you need, TVs in front of you. Loads of food. Loads, loads of food. They keep coming around with the drinks. I only have one alcoholic drink. You I'm could... working today. But they point you to the back and they say, oh, just go there and get whatever you want. So they give you mini cans and the spirits are in little bottles, oh, which are really good films. Whoa, look at this though. Whoa, look at that. How cool is that? But we have actually been to Doha Airport before. It is like one of the biggest and best. Yeah, it's huge. It is massive. Yeah. Um, we've got about three hours, I think, now here. Our next flight's not until 2.35 a.m. and it's 11 o'clock. So we've now gone forward two, ha two hours. Yeah. yeah, so we've gone two hours forward and I think it will be another two hours another after two Doha hours, yeah, when we get Pakistan. to Pakistan. We're going to be really messed up with the times today. Yeah, so what are we going to do? Find a coffee shop or something? Yeah, like I think go get a coffee, sit down and whack out the laptop. So we just went through the security thing. We are a bit stupid because we are like topping up our water bottles with the water on the plane but we forgot we had to go through liquids. And we got a coke from the plane. Yeah, then we kept a little coke and we couldn't get it through. There's but here's the big there. teddy there. <laughs> yeah, this is what we remember from last time. Okay, we're just grabbing our bags. We're gonna go for a wee, check the board, and find some water. Oh gosh, to top of our bag. This is such an impressive airport. They've got like every single shop, like meaning like Hermes and Louis Vuittons, the ones you can't afford but it's so busy and, and it's so run, big. Train running through the whole thing. Through the middle, yeah. It's so cool and it's just like spotless and like everything's perfect and pristine. So we've got about an hour and a half before our flights. So we're just making our way to the boarding gate and we might grab a coffee. I don't really feel like anything. I'm a bit bored, you know, when you're like, I'm not hungry, I'm not thirsty and I can't bother to do anything, like any work and that. And then I tried to read and I was like, oh, my eyes hurt, so. I just don't know what to do with myself. What about you? Walk around. Ben's trying to find a toilet everyone he's gone to, he has to queue. There's one here, go and try that one. It's so busy here, that there's not enough toilets for the amount of people here. Oh no, there's, I reckon there's like thousands and thousands of people here. Go on, third luck. Lucky we got to our gate early because they're boarding already. Thank you. I'm not even joking, that bus ride was like a half an hour, you know, the bus you get to the plane. It was so long. We even got stuck in on traffic. Never, but I'm glad to be in. So we are actually flying with British Airways, but it's partnered with Qatar. So this year, I'll enter Qatar. seat next to us and it does look like it's well, going to be empty. When we was in the waiting room, half empty. Mm. So this is a big plane, this holds like 300 people. Ben's so. making that up, he has no idea how many. Yeah, I reckon, <laughs> I reckon this, this is going to be half empty. Yeah, so fingers crossed we've got a spare seat, but I didn't expect this, I didn't expect TV. It should only be like two and a half hours, so I don't know about food and drinks or anything, but I am really thirsty. Oh, I've just put a water at the top, might have to go and grab it. But I'm excited. And we've got a window seat. We never very often get window seats these days. But it's nice. And already, like, the welcome and the staff seem really nice and friendly. So, looking forward to this. Might have a little nap. We've also been provided with pillows and blankets, as this is a night flight. Gee, if I remember rightly, last time I was on Qatar, um, the films and the yes. entertainment was really good. Yeah. So hopefully, let's have a look. Oh yeah, two hours and four minutes. So it's not a very long flight. Camera view, internet, kids, that's me. I'm a kid.
made it, we're in Pakistan. Oh, I'm so excited. It feels surreal, doesn't it? I know. Oh, wait. It's so it's exciting been for such, this trip. It's been such a long day and like a long time coming and we're here. Now we just got to find our way out of the airport. But for the first time ever, we've actually arranged transport. Never yeah. done it in a whole entire life. Well, a hotel, I think he's maybe he's the owner, I don't know. But he's meeting us here, so take us straight there. Oh. Little, a little bit more expensive than getting the local transport, but it's so early, we're so tired. And it's just a little just bit easy. less stress. And yeah, they're already they're trying to accommodate us straight away, to, trying to find us a room and stuff. So already I know the hospitality here in Pakistan is going to be unbelievable. Because technically we can't check into our room till 12 and it's like 7.30 a.m. at the moment. And they said there's a room available, not our one, but we're welcome to go in there until ours come available. We're like, thank you. Yeah, we I love know. you. Still, we're changing things. We don't think we could get a SIM card here. We heard that you can't get one here. We'll still have a look. And we're not going to withdraw money. We've actually bought cash for once and we're going to change it up because we got told you're a bit uh, stained rate with sterling power. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. So today, once we get to the place, we'll be all about getting a SIM card, sorting our lives out and probably a bit of sleep. And having some sleep, yeah, yeah. I haven't slept yet. So I'm absolutely shattered. Ben's had about an hour, but let's concentrate getting out of here first. We've managed to change some money out. We went to the money exchange. We got 350 to a pound. So about roughly what we saw online. We only changed up about 100 pounds. We were just about to go outside and we're helping our drivers there. Yeah, look we out get... for the on tour drizzle side. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Hey, everyone's here for us. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> that way, turn. <laughs> no. My friend, Mitty? Yeah. No, we've got oh, one, oh, thank okay. you. No, we've got someone picking us up. Okay. Thank you. Well, there was no sign waiting there for us, so we can't find a driver, but there's actually a McDonald's literally across the road. So we've gone over there to see if we can get any Wi-Fi and find out where they are. We don't really know what's happened, but we're messaging our, like, accommodation and we're kind of, like, acting like we had nothing booked, so it looks like we're going for a taxi. Maybe not oh, standard us, but we haven't done much research here, but we roughly know the price, so let's see if we can get it for the same price. It's about seven miles away, is that right? 7.1 km. Yeah, so, let's see. Before we carry on the video, we'd like to thank today's sponsor, Iversea VPN. With Iversea VPN, you're simultaneously logged into between two and 10 devices. Iversea VPN offers you maximum compatibility, be it Windows, Mac OS, iOS, Android, Linux, as well as popular browsers like Firefox and Chrome. IVC VPN is available on all popular platforms. All plans unlock BBC iPlayer, Disney+, Plus, Hulu and seven major Netflix regions. It is also award-winning VPN for speed, including high ratings on Apple and Google. As we travel full-time and use public Wi-Fi, for example, coffee houses and accommodations, IVC is perfect for us as it's affordable price and keeps us safe while we're on the road. Obviously, VPN also has the lowest prices on the market. Right now, you can get a five-year plan for just $60. That works out just $1 a month. Check out Obviously VPN. Link is in the description down below. Now back to the video. Is it bad? This? Uh, Where did you get the address, man? The address is not uh, uh, mentioned the address. address. Yeah. address. Yeah. Look at these. This is cute. So we've got a taxi, we've got it down to 2,500, which is what our guest house quoted us, so we're happy with that. Probably still too much, but we're you in know, a taxi. You know for a fact, like, always getting a taxi outside of any airport is going to be the higher price. But yeah, we didn't pay more than what we was going to pay, so... But we're kind yeah. of just sat in there at the moment, he's just gone and left us, and it's a bit hard in there. Yeah, he said 3,000, he really didn't want to move either, he was like... We were like, nah, we'll phone our guest house and then Yeah, eventually it. come down a little bit, so... But this is the car we're going in. How cool was this? 
Proper old school. Yeah. Little yellow taxis out here. But hopefully our driver comes back. I'm not really sure what's going on. No, he's um he's got he's writing a slip out. Oh, they have to do that here, yeah. yeah, yeah. But the proper way. Yeah. Right, hopefully we make it to accommodation because I'm shattered. shattered but I'm wide awake now because I'm looking everywhere I'm like whoa this is so cool the buses are bright colourful there's hundreds of scooters everywhere it oh, is just have, like, mental horns, horns are ringing really, in my head. yeah it is so cool like it's just so loud and vibrant here I love it I'm just so excited it's too much guest house this location too much yeah yeah all the street guest house guest house guest house this one, this one. Yeah, this one. Yes, you are seeing Suleiman Street. Okay. Yeah, your, there we go. Yeah, yes. It's Hira, Hira Guest House. Hira. Yes. And we're in Pakistan for one month. Yeah. One month. One month? Yeah. Oh. We travel up to Lahore. Ah, Lahore, Lahore. Lahore, yeah. Islamabad. Oh, this is Al Hira. Too much Pakistanis work in the UK. Too, too many. Much too much, too much. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I see, yeah. Hira. Yeah, I see. Shabuya. Uh, just a minute. This one, He's yeah? Good, this good, just a minute. Okay. Oh, you talking? Thank you. Oh. I'm glad you might like it. He's checking for us. Hello, my young. Yes, this one here. Yeah. Yeah, here. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nearly fell. We've arrived at our accommodation. Taxi ride was actually quite longer than we thought it would be. Long way, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So the 2,500 was definitely worth the price. But we did tip him 3,000. As we say, if you follow us a while, we do barter and then we like to tip. We get a fair price. Which is what we do. And he was a really nice guy. And he knocked our door and made sure we were in the correct he place sure and everything. We, that's what I like. He made sure we were safe. So, at yeah. the end of the day, 500 rupees doesn't matter if we're safe. At the moment, we've only like, been here a few hours and everyone has been so nice and helpful. It's unreal. So, I'm really excited to get in and explore and get in to know like, more people here and explore the culture. The first thing that happened when we arrived in our guest house, he came up and shook my hand and like, thought the hospitality is like, top notch. So it's quarter to ten and they've kindly gave us a room for a couple of hours until our room's ready at twelve. How nice is that? And look at this room, so God knows what ours is going to look like. Nice, isn't it? It's well nice. I'm definitely going to sleep because I've lost the whole night, so I'll still sleep nicely tonight as well. It makes no difference to me, I can sleep. Right, morning guys, it's the next day. We didn't film lunch last night because obviously through how tired we was, we just managed to Get our head down and probably get about 10 hours sleep. We had to do it. We've got a takeaway, had some dinner. We just had a knock on the door, half asleep. Breakfast has been delivered. So it looks like sort of like a spring onion omelette, some nice delicious chai, and some toast and some jam and stuff. So we're going to dig in and eat this. Looks so good. Mmm. Oh, yeah, I'll miss this. So delicious. It's apple jam. I was a bit like sceptical, I thought it would be like an apple sort of pie filling or something. Goes very well together. One thing we didn't do yesterday, which we need to do, is obviously get a SIM card. There's a Zong franchise not too far away, so that's where we're headed. Very, very hot today as well. And I, I can't see it, I'm going to have to put my sunglasses on, I'm sorry. I can't handle the sun. But just a recap of yesterday, obviously we arrived. Didn't mention the visa, so the visa was about 
$60, $65, and we got it online. We got it like a month in advance, it's an and e it was proper easy. Yeah, e visa, and it got sent to our emails. I recommend doing it in advance and get it sorted because it did get sent back actually twice, didn't it? Yeah, and we had to just quickly change something. Yeah, we've done it about what, what six weeks in advance? Yeah, quite, quite a while. I'm so excited to be here. Well, yesterday, we um, popped to the shop just to grab some water, so we had some in. Um, yeah. Met some local school kids that walked us to the shop yeah. and spoke a little English. We were like practicing some of them, and some local guy helped us at the shop because um, we couldn't say water to the guy. Obviously, we're in another country yeah. <laughs> and we need to learn these little things. Um, and they gave us it for free, saying welcome. Two bottles of 1.5 litres of water. Yeah. We were like, oh, you're so kind, like you don't have to, but they're like, welcome. I think that's so, going to be normal out here. They're just going to fight. Like they're so loving and so giving it's so it's really a really really beautiful place and we said yesterday like how underrated pakistan is as, as a place more people should come to pakistan Sorted. Um, we've just ordered a tuk tuk from the app InDrive and it should be here any minute now. Yeah, I've missed tuk tuk. It's our first tuk tuk in Pakistan. Hello. Is everything included which is super good we're gonna grab a tuk tuk now and head to the market but that's the end of this video now so we'll see you on our next video when we explore Karachi a lot more subscribe <laughs> had 10 spit okay our gates open and we're now bordering 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 <laughs> we're just making our way, way to the <laughs> I'm not really sure where he's gone. He's put us in the bed. Just put it there. It's so dramatic. We've got our SIM card at last. It cost 